Oh yes, from flying taxis to reusable rockets, Daily Planet is taking us behind the scenes of some of the most new and unusual rides of the future. Here to tell us all about My Future Ride Week is Daily Planet's Dan Riskin and Zaya Tong. Thanks for being here this morning. Of course, we're thrilled to be here. We love when you guys are here. Yeah, we didn't fly in on our jetpacks as we'd hoped to. It was just a regular commute for us. Unfortunately, it's My Future Ride is our theme. We yeah. got the ride I get to get to work in today. So can you tell us about My Future Ride Week? I want to know all about it. Well, you know, uh, you know, as we know, just yesterday, a spaceship, you know, like basically, you know, the space station crashed back down on Earth. So we're talking about all these technologies in space basically taking place in the vertical uh, universe. So one of the examples is space tourism. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's incredible if you think about it because only 500 people have ever experienced suborbital flight, right? Wow. And seen that beautiful curvature of the Earth. So we're looking at all these wonderful examples. This is Worldviews Voyager. They have a balloon that is the size of a football field in essence that's going to give people just an incredible view of Earth. Uh, we've also got Amazon's Jeff Bezos. Of mm -hmm. course, he's got a special plan as well to take people up there in a capsule that's going to come back down with parachutes. And then, of course, Virgin has a plan as well. Richard Branson, he has Spaceship Two. And so Spaceship Two is going to launch up all the way. Basically, it's going to have an airplane that's going to take us to a suborbital uh, space. Mm -hmm. And then uh, rockets are going to fire off and it's going to be able to jet people off for a big space tourist flight. So, Zaya, basically you're telling me that we're prepared preparing ourselves to launch ourselves into space. Yeah. Any as moment now. next yeah. year. Yeah, it's space tourism. And so all week we're just looking at all these, the different ways you're gonna get around. It might be to be a space tourist, which will be a real thing mm -hmm. very, very soon, as I said. Or it could be a really sweet electric car. You know, electric cars used to be sort of this joke, this thing you would plug in that would chug you to work, and now they are the fast things, right? Yeah. I mean, there's Formula E, uh, but we're looking at uh, a, a crazy electric car called Miss R. Uh, what's exciting about this car, it has so much power that it has a liquid-cooled battery. So the battery has wow. to sit in a fluid in order to keep it cool enough because this thing kicks out enough power to accelerate, they are saying, zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 1.8 seconds. What? I joke you not. Yeah. So speeding tickets for everyone. For yeah. everyone. <laughs> if, if the speed limit is 100, you could just get there really quickly. That's oh not technically gosh. speeding. But yeah. you probably could speed with it. The other thing this has is separate torque to every single wheel. So if they call it torque vectoring, but basically the front wheels are not connected to each other. They're independent with their own motors running them. And so this gives you a little bit more control. You need a very precise computer to make sure everything works properly. But if it does, you can go really fast. And that's why they're calling it the Tesla killer. Jeez, that's yeah. like the need for speed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, can we talk about this high flying chair? Because I love a good chair, and if you can pick me up, <laughs> I I'm know. good. It's a very good chair. <laughs> exactly. It reminds me a lot of remember that movie Up, where yes. he was able to just sort of strap himself into all those balloons and yeah. take flight. Yep. Well, this is Axel Borg. We met him in Sweden, and it's another one of these examples of using vertical space, but a little bit differently because he's doing it DIY style. So he's mm -hmm. created all these rotors. Essentially, it's like a low flying, beautiful drone. And what I love about this is uh, this is one of the most peaceful rides we have. He's basically used it as like a, a, a system for flying through floor, uh, forests, wow. as you can see right there, right? He's just going for a low, easy, breezy cruise. You know what's funny is this is, the, I can look at this two ways. On the one hand, it looks very relaxing and nice. And on the other hand, it's like this guy is sitting on the edge of killing himself because it is, so? it is so dangerous. I mean, even if he's just floating in his lawn chair, you know, one story up, yeah. if he loses power and drops from that height onto a lawn chair, he'll break his back, right? right. So there's, I mean, he's not selling these. Uh, there's no company here. He just did this himself. Mm -hmm. And it looks, it's like exactly what I would have dreamt <laughs> up when I was 12. But fortunately, I didn't have the wherewithal when I was 12 yeah. to actually build one of these. I would have died. This guy actually knows what he's doing. Yeah. It's, it's a sweet he little machine. He can't fly in the rain, though, right? Because he's right. got all no. that electrical wiring sort yeah. of still hanging out there. So you know who can fly? Some superheroes. Yeah. For me, after seeing Black Panther, I know which one I want to be. But <laughs> apparently, wearable tech can help you become a superhero now? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So there, what we're seeing, we're going to cover this all week, is just little bits of tech. There's a guy named Eve Rossi, who is known as the Jet Man. Mm -hmm. He basically basically straps jetpacks onto his back and flies with airplanes. He flies in formation with airplanes. Oh my goodness. Just wearing this thing on his back. The butterflies of it all. It, it's crazy, <laughs> yeah. it's crazy. So the, he's French and he's uh, he's got people that are learning to fly like him, so he takes apprentices. Um, but uh, this is uh, as close to Iron Man as you can get. This is a, right there you're seeing a thing where you basically have jets coming out of your arms. And that is another way you can fly around uh, at crazy speed. Yeah. So these kinds of wearable things that will get you around. We even have something where, you know those roller wheels that kids have on their shoes yeah. so they can go down the hallway? That 
with a giant jet engine on it so that you go flying down the hallway. So we got the whole shebang. The yeah. way times are changing. Thank yeah. you for guys, thank you guys for being here. I love that we get to geek out together. Yeah. It's so much fun. <laughs> All right, so my future ride week kicks off tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern on Discovery.